There's a few things that get in our way, get in the way of our ability to form genuine connection. And one, as you're alluding to, is stereotypes. We see the other in these stere- along these simplified caricatures uh, in terms of, you know, we have images of what the average Trump supporter is or the average Trump opposer is. And then what we end up doing in these interactions or encounters across the political line, say, is to interact with the, our, a projection in our mind rather than the flesh and blood person right before us. And this happens all the time. I mean, I know I am frequent, <laughs> when I go back to New Jersey, my hometown, I'm frequently stereotyped as the egghead academic, and I can just feel the quicksand <laughs> of judgment <laughs> I'm sliding into <laughs> as I try to explain my point of view on some academic matter. Uh, anyway, but I think that is a, a big problem. And so I think one way out is through respect. Respect, which is a word whose etymology means to look again, respectate. So looking harder, looking more deeply is one antidote to the effects of stereotypes. And there's a lot of research that suggests that just pausing and thinking, why am I thinking this, can do a lot of good in terms of breaking the hold of stereotypes on our perception. The other element here that I think would be is kind of interesting to talk about is uh, this work on perspective getting. Too often when we're trying to understand another person, we try to take their perspective, imagine it, when really what we should be doing is asking people for it. And this is research from uh, Nick Epley and Juliana Schroeder showing that we vastly overestimate our ability to read other people's minds. We get it wrong, even when reading our friends' minds, even when reading our own minds. Like, we don't really know ourselves as well as, as we think no. we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's like sometimes less well. <laughs> yeah. If um, you journal at all, you, you recognize that yeah, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. And so perspective getting is one tool to kind of break down these barriers where we just ask people, hey, what, do you, what did you mean by that? What were you thinking? Uh, you know, what do you feel on that issue? Uh, what do you think about the topic of minimum wage? And ask in a really kind of non-judgmental uh, way, open, curious, genuinely curious way. That That is a powerful way. I, I'm, I'm into these everyday, scientifically validated ways to create connection that seem ordinary on the face of it, but then upon deeper ex- inspection, they're actually pretty extraordinary. The act of asking a question, asking someone for their point of view, surfaces who they are, and it creates a magic that really can be life-changing. And we've seen this in a lot of our own research. 